This is a story all about how I bought some AKs on the Steam market. So sit right there, listen, came Count Strike skins. Today we have some awesome stuff to look at everybody. I went on a bit of a compulsive buying spree earlier today and I am essentially going to show you the spoils of war. I had this feeling deep down inside that I wanted to get an AK collection in CSGO. You might have seen my inventory showcases before. If you would like to see another full one, another full inventory showcase, please do let me know in the comment section and also drop a like on on the video it helps a lot and so if you have seen my inventory showcases before you might have a bit of an idea of what my inventory is like it's based on the color red up until recently I only owned one AK and then today I was like I'm gonna get a bunch of AKs I want to have some awesome AK 47s and so that is what I have done and I'm gonna show you now my AK collection starting off with entry number one we have a classic skin in the C go inventory meta. Does that make sense? Whatever, even if it doesn't make sense, it is the AK-47 red line. It's minimal wear and it's got a cheeky LGB sticker on it, which I, I like that, man. I'm not sure how much that sticker is worth, but it kind of goes with the skin and yeah, in minimal wear, this skin looks absolutely awesome. It's nice and clean. It's got some red on it and it's just it's just dope, man. It was one of the first, like, okay skins that I unboxed. So it's always going to have a place in me art. And now I actually own one again. Up next, we have a sort of semi-rare skin or something. A, a skin that's not very popular. The skin in question is the AK-47 red laminate. So it's part of that set with, like, the blue laminate and the black laminate. Both the black and the red you don't see very regularly in games. And, yeah, it's red. It's pretty cool. This one's minimal weight and I had to get it. Of course, it follows my overall collection theme of being a majority red inventory. And in general, it's just a pretty cool skin, quite simple, but it's, it's eye-catching. I like it. The next skin that I am about to show all of you, I'm pretty excited to actually show off because it's relatively new. It comes from the revolver case. It is the AK-47 point disarray, and my god, is this skin sharp. It's got all these straight lines. It's got the red mixed with the the blue sort of like a reddish pink and it's got some like pattern on that front bit patterns here patterns there it's really nice i'm actually looking forward to using this in game which says something because my favorite ak the one that i use the most is a pretty special ak we will get onto that of course nearing the end of this video up next we have an ak skin which is which has a very interesting design it's again like the point disarray very bright very eye-catching but instead of having red it is blue blue white and black with some shades of grey thrown in for good measure. It is the AK-47 Front Side Misty. Really interesting name. I don't really get it. On the clip it says Winter Sport. Which is, which is kind of cool. I like the cool color palette on this skin. And yeah, it's just a very interesting design. Obviously, a lot of thought has gone into it. And so shout out to the front side Misty rocking the Winter Sport <laughs> architecture. We have three more AKs to go through. And we are now moving on to the Covert class. Covert, of course, is the red class for weapons. The first one that we have is the AK-47 Wasteland Rebel. Now, this is an interesting skin because it's obviously a paint job, which is kind of reserved. It's very simple, almost realistic. And so there's very little going on. It's more about the texture of the wood, the small details on like the body of the gun. Pretty nice. Look at that. Is that like a skull and crossbones? Not really sure, but it definitely adds to the personality of the skin. I've just realized as well, it actually has blood on this bit at the back, the handle at the back. That is, of course, slightly morbid, but once again shows that the detail on this skin is what makes it special. The penultimate skin is a skin that I used to own and actually use as my primary AK skin. It is the AK-47 Jaguar with a cheeky drug war veteran sticker on the front. I like this skin because it's kind of different. It's basically a print of a Jaguar with like a red eye and a bullseye, like a whatever, aiming down the scope thingy crosshair. And then of course it has the green and brown camo. It's kind of like jungle themed. Like I said, I used to use this as my primary AK skin, but then yeah, it changed over time. But now I own one again. And now moving on to my 
final AK skin. If you have watched any of my CSGO inventory showcases before or gameplays, you will probably have noticed I own a field tested AK Fire Serpent that goes by the name of Dougal B. Oatman. It's, <laughs> it's a pretty funny name named after my good friend Boats. He actually gave this to me after I advised him on a bet to make back in the day which he won a lot of skins from and I have owned it lovingly ever since. The Fire Serpent is definitely one of the oldest skins that has one of the coolest designs. It is of course a Fire Serpent like some sort of dragon drawn in almost like a Mayan design. At least that is what it reminds me of. My Dougal Beetle Oatman is field tested, not minimal wear or factory new but still worth quite a bit. It's my favourite AK and it's probably always going to be my primary AK to use. Good memories with this gun and just overall a really really fun skin to use. And everybody that is my new AK collection. I now own how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I own seven AKs. Do not forget to let me know in the comment section if you would like to see an overall showcase again. I will see you in the next video. Much love and peace.